To some unfortunate breaking news from overnight, police say a 15 year old died in a shooting in Milwaukee's east side. This morning, 12 News' Madison Moore is joining us live near North and Prospect, right across the street from Whole Foods. As we know, as we see runners going right past behind you, Madison, this is a very busy intersection, and this is where that shooting happened last night. Yeah, Deanna, as you can see, uh, people are starting to wake up in this neighborhood here, but things are a lot quieter now than they were last night when this was all unfolding right outside of the Mad Chicken here across the street at North in Prospect right around 11 p.m. That's when the shooting happened right as large crowds were heading home from the lakefront fireworks and other Independence Day celebrations. Now we want to get you to some video our 12 news cameras captured last night on the scene here as officers were filling the streets to investigate this homicide, taking the life of a 15 year old boy. Now our cameras did capture a large crowd of people gathered near the scene. There was a portion of the road blocked off while the investigators spoke with witnesses here in the area. Again, there were a lot of people passing by in the street that may have witnessed this shooting. Now this shooting is the third deadly shooting in Milwaukee in just over 24 hours from Sunday night to last night. Now again, and this all happening on North and Prospect. You can take a look at the map there on your screen. This happened right around 11 p.m. The 15 year old boy gunned down on the sidewalk outside of Mad Chicken across from the Whole Foods Market. That's right near Columbia St. Mary's Hospital. Again, a very busy area, a popular area here in the east side. And we just spoke a moment ago with a neighbor who's been living here for decades and she is just devastated by this incident. She says she no longer feels safe in this neighborhood. Yeah, the family of that 15 year old mourning the loss of a family member, perhaps a brother. We're going to get more information from police later on today. But Madison, do police know right now what led up to this shooting? So they have shared with us this morning that they believe this shooting uh, was the result of an argument. They said they are still in the preliminary stages of their investigation, but they believe this stemmed from an argument. They are still looking for the shooter. They're asking anyone with information to reach out. Not the way that we want to talk about the holiday, not the way that we want to remember this 4th of July. But again, breaking news here coming out of Milwaukee. Madison Moore reporting live on Milwaukee's east side. Meanwhile